than a paper, a stereo, a taper. Me and Eric B in a nice The only way to find out is to listen with the headphones. Which is my favorite right. dish, but without no money, it's still a whisk. Cause I don't like to dream about it. I'm Siberia Simmons, and I am here at the National Museum at Duke University um, as part of a nine-day residency that um, ha will culminate in a concert with Super Chunk and then a barbecue listening party. Um, and this is for the show called The Record, and, which I have um, nine photographs and an installation and a vinyl record with 15 songs. Today I'm meeting with um, a group of Duke students who have come to investigate the project and ask me some informative questions, I hope, and to explore the, the, the work with me. I'm Andrew Hibbard and I am an art history major at Duke. So I, I think this was the first image in the series that I saw and um, it's actually the, on, the only musically historical site that I know the significance of which is Monk's birthplace. Um, I mean it's, it's such an enticing image and, and for its formal properties and then thinking about Monk's birthplace, I, I have this really bizarre image of Monk like actually being birthed between these two rail tracks, but it, it's just a totally welcoming and you sort of, every time I look at it, I want to be in this spot. It's really exciting that you actually know the, the landscape, um, because when I was looking, I was really looking, you know, North Carolina has so many amazing people that were born here, like John Coltrane was born here, Thelonious Monk was born here, Nina Simone was born here, I mean, and the list goes on, and I think that um, it was really actually difficult to find this location. Everyone kept saying, around the Y, it's around the Y, but they didn't really know where it was. They couldn't tell me, like, make a left, make a right, and there's the train tracks. They were just like, you gotta go over there, and then there's these train tracks, and then, but he lived over here, and, you know, and, but I really went looking for um, Monk's birthplace, and um, having engaged with Monk's music a good amount, um, when I made my jazz salon a few years ago, I'm sort of a really big fan, and which probably maybe you are too. Yeah, so it was really important to engage with this landscape in particular. My name is Laura Pierce. I am a senior at Duke, and I am studying art history and international studies here. Um, well, I was really drawn to this, oh, probably because our previous conversation with the dunes, and that's really been important in my life. I used to live in northern Michigan and the Sleeping Bear Dunes and then um, now I live in Florida and we also have these dunes and they're very like peaceful, serene. You can, as the wind goes by, you can hear it rustling in these kind of um, sea grasses and you can almost get the sense that as the, the wind, which you can kind of see moving across this dune, is making music with that guitar and there's this spiritual presence that's kind of descended on these dunes and kind of brought something to it and that's kind of what I see like this character doing and the black is great it's a great contrast with these kind of muted hues in the background and also kind of playing in with the color of the guitar and it's it's not that it's a malignant presence it's just something that is different and and surprising but at the same time beautiful my name is Michael. I'm a student here at Duke University. I'm a senior and I'm studying art history with a concentration in architecture. Of all the pieces that are uh, featured here in the installation, this one is the most intriguing to me um, for two reasons. Um, one, if you sort of consider it from a narrative perspective, it sort of seems to tell a historical story um, of almost like of slave times, like finding your way through the woods. Um, and she seems to be sort of going in, in a direction that's somewhere um, off in this direction, but also from a compositional standpoint. The character is placed uh, shrouded in, uh, in forestry, and her finger almost seems to point in a, in a way that kind of moves your eye around the room. Like, though you're looking here, it almost seems like it sort of suggests movement in this direction to me. Yeah, I think <laughs> that's also a great interpretation. I really appreciate how you guys are, um, you know, building your own stories on the images. That's like exactly how I want my work to be read. I really love the stories that are sort of coming out of, of how you view the work. And it, it, you know, the more a viewer engages with the work and the more also, a view, the more information a viewer has um, about 
their own likes and dislikes and their own stories. It, it kind of like helps the artist kind of see their work in a different way. Like I, I didn't see my work in that way, but it's exciting to think that, you know, that's a narrative that's coming out, you know, which, it, you know, makes sense considering um, what I told you about, you know, retracing the transatlantic slave trade, you know, but then the, the musician who, um, who wrote to this image is Jim James. He goes by Yim Yames and he's from My Morning Jacket and he, you know, wrote a really amazing song about destiny and, and, and um, it's, his song is called Of the Mother Again. Mm -hmm. And so, and, and a lot of the lyric is about destiny. And, and I like this idea of like also destiny, which also relates to your interpretation. And I think the point has something to do with destiny or moving forward. And, and also in art, art historically, the point is like so common in a lot of, um, you know, I think 18th century painting, yeah. 17th, 18th century paintings where you have the king pointing or, the, you know, the, the child pointing. I mean, the point is sort of like that royal point that yeah. I'm really interested in. I, I do a lot of pointing, um, or I, I direct people in my work to do a lot of pointing in the work. So, I appreciate your interpretation. You can start now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh, 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 o